not a saucy chef. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Saucy in the kitchen, who wanna eat? Who wanna eat? Nah, nah, she the chef, y'all wanna you meet. You wanna meet Quickie meals, you can all enjoy at home. I can sense that you hungry, you are not alone. Like, share, and subscribe, don't hold your breath. Stop what you're doing, it's not nah, nah, the saucy chef. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nana, the saucy chef. Today we're going to be making pepperoni pizza lasagna. The ingredients that we're going to need today are adobo all-purpose seasoning or the all-purpose seasoning of your choice. Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley flakes, ground black pepper, oven ready lasagna, grated parmesan cheese, pizza sauce, minced garlic, pepperoni, mini pepperonis, Italian style shredded cheese, mozzarella cheese, ricotta cheese, green bell pepper, onion, egg, and ground beef. Okay guys, I have all my ingredients measured out. I'm gonna be showing you the ingredients in two parts. So I have four cups of shredded Italian cheese, two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, six ounces of pepperoni, five ounces of the mini pepperoni, two 14 ounce jars of pizza sauce, one half teaspoon of dried parsley flakes for garnish at the end, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one pound of ground beef, one small onion diced, one half of a green bell pepper diced, and also I have a box of oven ready lasagna. The ingredients that we're gonna need for our ricotta cheese mixture is 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, one egg, one half teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of adobo all-purpose seasoning. We're also gonna need one fourth of the grated Parmesan cheese. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is get a small bowl. We're gonna add in all of our seasonings. And we're just going to mix them until they're well combined. Now to our ricotta cheese, we're going to add in our egg. And you want to mix it until it's well combined. We're going to add in our fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And also our seasoning mix. And you want to mix until well combined. Thing is well combined, set it to the side. In a heated saucepan over medium heat, you want to add two tablespoons of olive oil. You want to let that come to temperature. You can add in the green bell pepper and also your onion and we want to saute that for five minutes after five minutes you want to add in the minced garlic saute that for one minute After one minute, you want to add in your ground beef. And we're going to go ahead and break our meat down. We want to make sure that it's mixed real well with our green pepper, onion, and garlic. You want to continue to cook your ground beef until it's all the way brown. 
Okay guys, once your ground beef is cooked all the way through, you want to remove it from your pan. Drain it of all excess grease. You drained your ground beef of all the grease. Return it back to your pan. Now you can go ahead and season your ground beef the way you like. I'm adding ground pep black pepper, a double all-purpose seasoning, onion powder, and also garlic powder. You want to go ahead and mix that up. You just let it cook for a couple more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add our pizza sauce. I'm going to go ahead and mix it until it's well combined. Okay guys, I went in with my mini pepperoni and I'm just going to mix it until it's well combined. And guys, you can add some more garlic powder and onion powder. Whatever seasonings you would like to add, you can go ahead and taste it. After everything is well combined, you can turn your heat off. Okay guys, I have everything ready to go. I have my baking dish. I had to break my lasagna noodles in half so they can fit into the dish. So now you want to set your oven to 375 degrees. Now I'm just going to take some of my sauce and layer the bottom of my baking dish. We're going to take our lasagna noodles and place them over top of our sauce. I'm going to take my ricotta cheese mixture and begin to spread it over top of our lasagna noodles. Now I'm going to go in again with a layer of my sauce over top of our ricotta cheese mixture. Now we're going to add some shredded Italian style cheese to the top of our sauce. I'm also going to add some mozzarella cheese on top of that also. We're going to begin to layer our pepperoni on top. Now I'm going to add another layer of my noodles to the top of the pepperoni. Now we're going to go back in with our sauce. And put another layer on top. Okay guys, this time I'm going to layer it with the mozzarella cheese first. I'm going to take our Italian style cheese and go over top. Guys, you can add as much cheese as you would like or you can use a little less. I like mine cheesy. Now we can go in again and layer it with our pepperoni. Okay guys, next you want to get a piece of aluminum foil and we're just going to spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. That way it doesn't stick to the top of our lasagna. 
ready to go into our oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. At the last 10 minutes, guys, you want to take the aluminum foil off and let it cook uncovered. Okay, guys, look how amazing this looks. It smells delicious. So I'm going to do now, I'm going to add just a little bit of parsley flakes to the top for some color. And I'm also going to add a little bit of oregano to the top. I'm going to let that cool down before I cut into it. Okay guys, so here we have it, our pepperoni pizza lasagna. Guys, this tastes so good. You guys need to give it a try. I guarantee you, your whole family will love this. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please come back, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And until next time, this is Nana, the saucy chef. Y'all hungry yet? <laughs>